Are you looking for how to increase your vertical jump? Well, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do that in this video. What's up everybody, Nathaniel Morton here with NathanielMorton.com helping you get bigger, stronger, faster, and more explosive. Before I get into this video, I wanna let you know, as always, that if you comment jump, J-U-M-P, down below in the comment section and like this video, I will send you a free body weight vertical jump training program that you can use to increase your vertical jump. So comment jump down below, like the video, and I will send that over to you. Today's video, I am going to talk to you about why calf raises, why toe raises will not get you a 40 inch vertical jump. They might not even get you a 35. And if you really have a low starting vertical jump, they might not even get you to 30. Now, everybody thinks that calf raises, toe raises, beginners, most beginners think this, people who haven't researched too much on how to increase your vertical jump. There is an assumption, there is a rumor, a bad rumor out there that toe raises and calf raises will help you increase your vertical jump extraordinary amounts. Yes, calf raises will help you increase your vertical jump a little bit, okay? Doing calf raises is better than not doing calf raises. However, it's not going to get you to a 40 inch vertical jump. So Nate, what will get me to a 40 inch vertical jump? This is what will get you to a 40 inch vertical jump. Strengthening your posterior chain. You need to increase the strength, the rate of force development, meaning the speed, the velocity, how explosive you can be, and the reactive speed and the reactive strength of your posterior chain. Now, what is your posterior chain? It's everything on the back side of you, including your calves. Your calves are included in there, but your posterior chain, it's your upper back, it's your lower back, it's your glutes, your butt, it's your hamstrings, it's your calves, okay? That is all encompassed in your posterior chain, all of those muscles. If you are simply working out your calves, yes, you'll jump a little bit higher, but you're leaving out the glutes. You're leaving out the hamstrings. You're leaving out the lower back. You're leaving out the quads. You're leaving out your core. You're leaving out all of these muscles that need to be strengthened and you need to improve your explosiveness and your reactive speed and strength in all of those muscles, not just your calves. That's why I hate calf raises. That's why I hate when people comment on my videos and say you never show anything for calves. You never show any soleus raise machine. You don't get on a, a calf raise machine, put the weight up high, and do standing calf raises. I don't do anything like that. If I do calf work, if I am going to work out my calves, I do reactive work, like ankle jumps, and lateral line jumps, and depth jumps, and low stair jumps. These are the things that are going to increase your explosiveness and increase your reactive speed and your reactive strength with your calves. If you wanna throw in some strength work for your calves, like getting on a calf raise machine and trying to get stronger in your calves, you can do that. It will only benefit you, it's not going to hurt. However, you can't leave out all of the other muscles. You have to strengthen your hamstrings. You gotta strengthen your quads, you gotta strengthen your glutes, gotta strengthen your lower back, and you gotta strengthen your core. So very quickly before I end this video, Nate, what are some exercises that will get us to a 40 inch vertical jump. So I gave you the calf exercises, ankle bounces, low stair jumps, depth jumps, and lateral line jumps. Those are, those, those are what you should focus on for your calves. For the rest of your posterior chain, you have to be doing big compound movements like squats, deadlifts, power cleans, kettlebell swings, um, barbell um, glute bridges, you need to be doing um, um, one leg RDLs, you gotta be doing goblet squats, you gotta be doing everything that is compound movements, meaning you use more than one muscle group in those movements. Think about a deadlift. You use, you use your calves, you use your quads, you use your hamstrings, you use your lower back, you use everything in your posterior chain for a deadlift. So if you're trying to strengthen your posterior chain, use the exercises that strengthen all of those muscles at once. 
Okay, so that is my advice to you. Those are the exercises that I think you should be doing. And that is why calf raises will not get you to a 40 inch vertical jump. And another thing that I wanna start doing is I wanna start putting action steps at the end of my videos because you're never gonna get anywhere if you just think about it. If you just think about the goals that you want to achieve, but you never go out and do anything about it, you will never achieve those goals. So from now on, at the end of my videos, I'm going to give you an action step. So your action step for today is to choose two of the calf exercises that I gave you and focus on those, maybe doing them every other day because you can do calves a lot. Let's do them every other day for three sets of 25 reps if you're a beginner. So let's choose ankle bounces and let's choose lateral line jumps ankle bounces and lateral line jumps. Those two exercises, you're going to do those every other day for three sets of 50 reps. Do one warm up set of each of those to 25 reps, then do three sets of 50 reps every other day, okay? Then if you have access to weights, choose a few exercises that are going to work your posterior chain that you're gonna train twice a week. These big compound movements like the squats, the deadlifts, um, the power cleans, the kettlebell swings. You only gotta do these twice a week. Do not do these every other day. Your body needs more time to rest if you're using weights and you're doing these big compound lifts, trying to get stronger. Your central nervous system is going to be fatigued from those and need more rest and recovery. So choose two calf exercises, explosive calf exercises, this is your action step, and choose two, at least two, weight training exercises that are going to work on your posterior chain. And a few rep and set ranges that you could do, let's say one day you do deadlifts for five sets of five, as heavy as you can go for five sets of five with good form, trying to be explosive. Everything is always good form. Um, then your second exercise, let's say kettlebell swings for four sets of 15 reps as heavy as you can go. And if you don't have a kettlebell, just use a dumbbell. That's, that's day one, okay? Day two of your week for the posterior chain work, you're gonna do squats. Let's do, let's do three sets of 10, as heavy as you can go for squats, as explosive as you can be for squats with good form. And the second one, let's do um, one leg Romanian deadlifts one leg Romanian deadlifts for three sets of eight reps each leg. That, that, that's your action step. Now, if you already have a vertical jump training program in place, you, you, you are already doing these things, then stick to your own program. But if you're not doing anything, that is a really good place to start. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, that is why calf raises will not take you to a 40 inch vertical jump. And that is the exercises that will, the information that will, Take you to a 40 inch vertical jump. This has been Nathaniel Morton. Take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power. It is only potential power until you take action on what you know. You gotta go out and do it if you wanna see those results. Share this video if you think somebody else can get value from the content. Like the video and comment jump down below if you want that free body weight vertical jump training program. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell if you have not already. And that is all. I will see you guys next time.